My game felt empty. So instead of working hard on beautiful backgrounds and drawing a ton of pretty sprites to fill the environment, I cheated. Because you know, that's the indie life. As my game is so fast paced, I focused on a minimal art style to convey the most important information. So death alert, death alert, death alert. Usually when games feel bland, it's because they lack a secret ingredient, game juice or feel. Game feel in itself is a whole area of expertise, but as indie game devs, it gives us many possibilities to make our games with smaller scopes feel more alive. Here are 11 examples of improvements that drastically changed my game's environment, without any artistic ability and very low effort. Swaying grass. Two sprites, one shader. That simple. It gave the environment some movement which really made a difference. Procedural tile positioning. A tile sprite sheet and a simple script to create patterns randomly. This really improves the environment as it gives the game some character and is also related to the game's theme. Procedural tiles changed my life, not only for how they make the environment feel more alive, but also it saved me a ton of time when building levels. I actually have a whole tutorial on how to create this if you're interested. Procedural abstract shapes for the lazy bums who can't be bothered to do anything else. I implemented an algorithm to place abstract shapes in the flat backgrounds that serve as walls. This really changed things up as the environment stopped looking like an empty void. Still minimal and very low effort. Falling leaf particles. The levels went from feeling soulless to having some charming character that leads you through. It also calms players from the anxiety of the fast paced levels. Birds that chirp and fly away. I created a simple sprite and animation and then placed them in different areas of the levels, flying in different directions. This was very low effort and kind of a game changer. It definitely gave the levels more life, making the player not feel alone in an empty world. Fountain that spits water. Initially, the checkpoint was a fountain that opened its mouth once you got there. Then I added water, which really gives you a sense of progression and contributes to the environment. The water helps the player understand that the fountain is a safe place in a world of dangers. I also added some birds around the fountain to emphasize its restorative, peaceful purpose in the world. Grass Patches Another example of tiles with procedural positioning. Grass patches really give the environment some contrast and storytelling about where the player is. As mentioned, I wanted to keep the environment simple and minimal, but convey the most important information. So this subtle addition does not distract the player from the important cues and provide some depth to the setting. A tiny light source attached to the main character. Very simple, but improves player visibility and provides some charm to the overall composition. Bullet effects. My game has a heavy emphasis on bullets, so adding some juice really leveled up the experience of swiping and bouncing on them. Before, they were simple bullet orbs, but by adding a bit of flame, they stand out more and convey a heavier message of danger. I just added a simple particle system that acts as a trail. Hanging plants and bushes. By creating some plant and bush shapes in pixel art with absolutely no details, I managed to create a bit more depth and movement to the scene. They are the same color as the flat backgrounds that surround the tiles, so they blend in really well, which helps achieve the main goal of a minimalist environment where the player only focuses on what's important for the gameplay. God rays. God rays can improve literally anything. Even if you have an empty background, by adding god rays, the game feels more epic. So I place them in areas I want to highlight, like lower stones. And there you go, this is how I added some more charm to my indie game. Let me know in the comments below which was your favorite addition, I would love to hear your thoughts. Also, if you're interested in Quetzal, go and wishlist it. There's a free demo you can try out. An updated version of the demo with visual improvements like these will be available from next week. Thanks so much for watching and as always please like and subscribe if you found the video useful, as it really helps me gauge what is interesting and create better content for viewers like you.